Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with the first episode, actually the second episode today. Uh, I did a show earlier today uh, on Mixed Combat Radio with uh, Matt the Hips Hunter, my, my uh, co-host on that. Uh, so check that out, um, MCR Podcast, Mixed Combat Radio on YouTube. Uh, but we are back uh, with my second show today, and I'm going to get into Michelle Rivera and why he is one of PBC's best prospects, one of the best prospects in boxing period um but before we get into that please like and subscribe share on all forms of social media please like my other channel as well texas boxing scene uh it's completely dedicated to my home state texas texas boxing all proceeds go to autism research and recovery um so, so let's get into today's show michelle rivera uh is fighting on the uh tug uh, the Chris Colbert versus Tug Diane by car card. Uh, Chris Colbert is, I, I think, the best 130 pounder in the world. He just needs to prove that. Um, I, I think. Ah, sorry about that. I think so highly of Chris Colbert. Um, but on the in the co-main, it's an interesting fight. We have um, Michelle Rivera, who I think is one of the premier young lightweights and. The, sorry about that. The lightweight division is just loaded with young talent. Obviously, T.P. Lopez is it holds all the belts. Devin Haney kind of has a belt, and then you have Ryan Garcia. You have Tank Davis, who's going to compete in that division. You have Hector Tanahar. I, I mean, you have so much talent uh, in that division. Um, and uh, I, I think this guy, Michelle Rivera, stacks up really well with all of them. Um, let, let's let's get into why. Um, so, um, Michelle Rivera is twenty zero. He's fighting hard hitting Spaniard kind of fringe contender John Fernandez. Uh, you might remember John Fernandez lost to Oshaki Foster a couple of years ago. Um, he beat Ernesto Garza um, on a Showbox card. We've seen John Fernandez a few times. He is what he is. He's come forward. Um, he's got decent skills. He's got decent pop. He's fundamentally sound. He's an okay fighter. I, I don't think he's going to be much of a, of a test for Michelle Rivera. Uh, R Rivera, like I said, he's one of the best prospects in the PBC stable, which is the best stable in boxing. Uh, from at least from a, you know a prospect standpoint, like we can, um, but. What, what makes him good, right? He's got great footwork. He's, he's got great feet. Uh, he's hard to hit. He stands out long range. He's only 5'8", but he's, he's, he's got length. Um, he's athletic, and he's got good pop. The way I compare him is uh, Jose Pedraza, who's less mechanical, more smooth, a more athletic version uh, of uh, Jose Pedraza. Um, which is good because Pedraza is a really good fight, two division world champ. Uh, but I, 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 that's how I would say Rivera. He's really good on the outside. He fights really well on the outside. He snipes really well. Um, he can throw power shots with the uh, right hand, um, the hooks, uppercuts uh, from mid range and long range. There's not much not to like about him. He, he uses good angles. Footwork is like I said. He's got great feet. Uh, he, he controls opponents with his feet. He, he maintains the range. He can open. He can. Uh, Close the range, get back at distance seamlessly and smoothly. Everything he does is really good. Um, I don't think Fernandez will stand much of, of a chance. Um, this is not and – and there's nothing wrong with John Fernandez. It, it, it's a fine opponent. But it, it's not one of the top – it's not one of the best names that Rivera's even been in with. Rivera has a win over Ladarius Miller, who has a win – um, 
over world champion Jamel Herring. Um, Michelle Rivera also has a win over Juan uh, Rene Telez. And you're saying, why do I know that name? That name sounds familiar. Uh, Telez, just a few months, I think it was late 2019, beat Carlos Balderas, uh, who um, I'm trying to remember what card that was on. I think it was Harrison and Charlo, too. Um, yeah, it was. Uh, but Telez beat Balderas on that card. And uh, Balderas was a highly talented PBC guy. Uh, he's fought, he fought a lot of their cards. He was 9-0 at the time. And uh, Telez dropped him in the third, got him out in the sixth, out cold. Um, and Rivera destroyed this guy. Um, the one, one unanimous decision basically won every round. I believe he dropped him as well. Um, but Rivera's a special town. Um, and why are we doing a show on Rivera? Because I think he's got a very good chance to be one of Tank's. Well, he could be Tank's next opponent. I, I, I think, look, with the politics of boxing, um, with LB saying, Leonard LB saying, he, Tank's not going to fight at 140. He's not going to campaign at 140. With Floyd Mayweather saying he's not going to fight outside of the Mayweather promotion, PBC stable, um, we kind of limit who his next opponents could be. I think his next opponent is fighting this week coming up. Obviously, it would line up perfectly. Um, and I think that's either going to be Chris Colbert at 130 or Michelle Rivera at 135, depending on who looks more sensational. Um, I think Colbert will probably look more sensational, but just in case he doesn't, just in case Rivera kind of feels nice, which he could because he's that good. I think this is a guy who could fight Tank Davis next. I'm not saying he's going to win. What I'm saying is they wanted to put Broner in with Rivera. That fight didn't happen because he would have destroyed Broner at 140 or 147, right? But um, because Rivera's that good, Broner's not. I'm not saying he's going to beat Tank. Tank's power is explosive. It's awesome. He's got tremendous power. Um, but this is a guy that can box with him. Can he do – like I said, he's a more athletic Pedraza. Pedraza got knocked out by Tank. But – can he do a better job of keeping Tank off of him? Can he outbox Tank? Can he snipe, snipe Tank? Can he do what uh, Barrios was doing but do it quicker and better and not engage with them? Um, I, I also think Rivera is probably better on the inside than Barrios is. So I, I, I think, again, he's not going to be favored to win if he gets the fight. Uh, we haven't seen him fight anyone like Tank. Honestly, there's not many people like Tank. Uh, but I, I think he shows well, and I think it's an interesting matchup. And, again, with – the politics and what they've all said, I, I think this is a real possibility. I, I, I think you could get Rivera versus Tank late later this year um, for Tank's next fight. Although I think Colbert may get the call too. I, I think you know Colbert will be there, the guy they want to get that fight at 130. Depends on what Tank wants. If Tank wants to go to 135, it could be Rivera, and I think that makes sense, and I think it's a, a decent fight. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. You guys, hi, and Rivera. Have you seen him much? I, I really think he – I think the world might – I think he, he could beat Devin Haney right now. I, I, I think he's that good. I really do. Uh, thoughts, comments below. Um, I think he could beat Ryan Garcia too. Um, leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, let me know what you all think. Please like and subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. All uh, proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery to so help us get that um, help us get that monetized as quickly as possible. I'd, I'd really appreciate that. Uh, please like and subscribe. Smash the thumbs up. Uh, I uh, pulverize the, the, the thumbs up. Like this video. Um, it is June thirtieth. Can't believe we're halfway through the year already. Um, it's June thirtieth. Uh, Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that chance. Get, let's get the Iron Boy in uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3 Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.